Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I am your host, the Web Gear Guy, and I would like to thank you today for watching the Web Gear Review. Uh, it was a couple years ago that I kind of just had the idea to share uh, my collection with the world here on YouTube, and uh, so this is just a continuation of it. And lo and behold, I'm surprised there's a uh, you know, there's a, a few thousand people almost uh, that has subscribed, subscribed to the channel. And I want to say thank you very much. And there's about another 7,000 people that's watching that has not subscribed. I would like to encourage those who have not to subscribed to the channel that ask you if you would subscribe to the channel. That would uh, really help me out a lot. Uh, now, today... What I would like to do is this is an introduction video, okay? Uh, we've been doing a series on uh, the Korean War and some of the post-Korean War items and clothing that has been uh, we've been showing on the channel. Now I know and I understand that the uh, you know clothing and stuff like that is not that very interesting to a lot of people, and I understand that. But however, they are uh, artifacts and things that we used in conjunction with this web gear and things. And there are things that I did bother to collect and snag along the way. So I thought I would show a few of them. I still have more Korean War uh, type things to show. Uh, but we're going to hop on over and take a look at the United States Marine Corps uh, M1941 pack system. Uh, and then I will still be working some Korean War uh, videos in there, uh, in fact. And uh, so, but I wanted to kind of move on and get uh, some more uh, backpacks and more web gear items uh, rolling again. But anyway, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch uh, these videos. I do really appreciate it. I really appreciate it when you share the videos, and I really appreciate a thumbs up if you like them, and also when you leave a comment, that, that really helps. Just uh, let me know what you got uh, in the comment section. But anyway, one thing, the reason I wanted to do an introduction video is simply because uh, I'm getting ready to do some videos in the Marine Corps section here, which I normally don't do. My collection mainly is uh, U.S. Army, and it's uh, the reason is is the, the U.S. Army equipment was more readily available when I was uh, a kid growing up, and so I was able to snag those items easier than I was a lot of the United States Marine Corps items. But however, uh, I love these Marine Corps items just as much as uh, the uh, the military, uh, the Army items also. But anyhow, what I want to address today is terminology. Me being a uh, an Army collector, I use the terms type, and I also use the terms pattern a lot of times. A first pattern, a second pattern, and a third pattern. Okay, in my opinion... There are four patterns of United States Marine Corps haversacks. There's a first, a second, a third, and a fourth pattern, okay? Or four different types, all righty? And there's three different types of knapsacks, okay? There's a first pattern, a second pattern, and a third pattern of the knapsacks, uh, to my knowledge. But however, I was speaking to a Marine Corps collector gentleman one time, and uh, I asked him a question about a, uh, I said, would that be a second or a third pattern? And he said, I don't know what you mean. There's only one pattern, an M1941 uh, uh, pack. And I was like, well, let me explain to you what I mean. So... I told him the details of the question I was asking, and he said, oh, well, that would be a M1941 Type C pack. And I'm like, what? And he said, well, there's only one pattern, and there's 
type A, type B, and type C. And then the modified. And I'm like, whoa, sorry I blew up on you, dude. I didn't mean to, you know, <laughs> step in your Cheerios or something there. But anyway, he was pretty doggone rude about it. But to me, that sounds like a first pattern, a second pattern, third pattern, fourth pattern. What's the difference? A type A, type B, type C, or the modified, okay? Uh, so the terminology that some of the uh, collectors are using may be different than the terminology that I use as a collector. But we're all talking about the same thing. And so, uh, you know, uh, there's no sense in getting all bent out of shape about terminology, okay? But anyway... What we're going to do, we're going to do a series of videos. This is the introduction. We're going to do a series of videos on all of these packs, okay? We're going to cover these packs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different packs that I have here, okay? I have right here the M1941 pack system. Also worked in conjunction with some, uh, some uh, suspenders. Or backbreakers, I think the Marines nicknamed them or something like that. Okay, we'll take a look at some backbreakers. Here's a pair of suspenders from the Korean War time era. Okay, so it worked in conjunction, conjunction, excuse me, with these suspenders and a pistol belt or a cartridge belt, or it could be worn alone the way they designed it here. So what happened was, and we'll go more into detail on the story and how it come about in some of the individual videos. But what happened was, in 1940, the United States Marine Corps realized that the old M1910 type of haversack that the Marine Corps was using, the Army had moved up to the M1928, the way I understand it, and uh, I'm sure some of the Marine Corps had the M1928s too, but they were using a lot of the M1910s. And, uh, and of course, uh, that type of backpack. But anyway, was not going to cut it. That was a very bad design. So uh, they come up with this design, and then we'll get in, like I said, more into that into the first videos here as we begin to take a look at the first pattern of packs okay about how it come to pass but anyway we're going to look at these videos and this video here was mainly just a introduction video uh, so I could explain myself on terminology and that I could just kind of give you a glimpse of what we're going to be looking into as we go on with videos with the web gear review now I would also one more time, I would like to reiterate that maybe some of the people who has not subscribed would take the time to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, if you don't know how to subscribe, uh, there's a little button you hit there, and it'll subscribe you, and then there's a little alert bell button you can hit, and that will uh, let alert you when I upload some more content. So, once again, I want to tell you thank you for watching the Web Gear Review, and I really do appreciate it. 